Brackets, there we Brake. go. Man, so, look at that. Side, man. Echo Fox, Saint, and JDCR. We're no stranger to that, but that loser side, though. So, Boomy. Cherry Mango. So Boomy, so Boomy goes down to Cherry Mango, two old, yep. and now he's about to play Naroma, who just defeated Take. We're going all the way. Last four players here at the Tekken World Tour Master Event here in South Korea. Man, it's been a it's been a good one, ladies and gentlemen. And we are in the final stretch, top four here, Tekken World Tour Masters Event. Like my man Mark Man just said, I am Tasty Steve. Giuna joined me earlier. Man. All right. Come and talk to me. Naroma, who has been on fire lately, going up against Cherry Berry Mango, and this is going to be a damage stage. Oh, yeah. This is going to hurt. Especially for Jack Seven. Um, I mean, but we saw what Cherry Berry Mango was doing earlier. He was making dent. He was making Jin look like he was hurting people for free. He was like, oh, oh yeah. there's a wall here. Watch this down back 2 2 3. Round one. All right, here we go. Starting it off. No punish there on the down four two, but it doesn't matter. Still early on. Goes for the bitch kicks. Unable to get it. All right, four four again. Went for an electric. Nice duck. Wild rising one coming from the Roma. Floor break? No, he wants that wall. Going downstairs, maybe no. Keeping him up. I mean, you, I feel like you got to use him, right? Oh, oh going quick. downstairs. Standing four. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, look at the damage. Ooh, spring, spring kick. Spring, summer, winter, fall. <laughs> Almost have all the seasons on the stage. Down back one. Oh, I'm really interested in how Cherry Mango is going to make this work. Because it's scary. This is one of those things where Jin has to get pretty close outside of 4 He's going to have to get freaky. Yeah, he's going to have to do something crazy. Yeah. It's not just going to be 4-4. Forward forward. I mean, he's going to have to get in the optimal range. He's going to have to start pressuring. And right now, Naroma's just a wall. He's not being pressured at all. He's not going to make any errant mistakes. Man, look at that. Big forward two. Oh, can, can, can. 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 The two pack down back two three just to get that split hey, into the needle shrine gate full extension follow up, but the get up kick and hey, we're going down. No, Ooh. oh, get off me. normal throw, get off his it's back. another Ugh. normal throw. What's going on? What's the going double on? Normal throw to take it. Nice, Ugh. that's it. Hook fist follow up might be going downstairs here. Wall, uh uh, uh. oh wow. Down two course, three, wall standing. There we go. Eight. Jeez. And Cherry Berry Mango working on a lead right now, but you know Naroma's been so comfortable in the boat game up close. Oh, using that forward two again. Do it again. Up. Oh. Wave dash four four three. That axe kick. Down back one. Naroma's not done yet. Oh, Ooh. EMGF, I like it. Good timing there. Uh oh, the punish. She went for the corpse thrust. Yeah, Cherryberry Mango needs his round if he wants to stay alive. There he is. Finally gets a point on the board. Uh oh, the wave dash, just to oh, let you know what's coming. He's feeling himself again. And you know, it's going to be tough, man. There's, a, a, again, the last Japanese player right now still in the fight. Down he does have the lead, too. Oh! oh! Blocks the hell sweep. Big punish. Uh uh. Goes for a small little reset, nice block. I feel like that's the first time I've seen that block the entire day because of that. Planting seeds. Has a big one. chance there. Not enough for a punish, though. Oh, oh he drops it. Oh, nice parry into the 2-4. Here's a follow-up. What's he going to do? Oh, and that's going to be it. Cherry Berry Mango He's not definitely looking too good. bugging out. And like I said before, I'm, that's why I'm really interested in this match. I've fought this match before. This is hard. Jin does have electric. He has really good poking tools, but you have to get into a range where it's going to be effective. Stuff like 2-1 is a lot harder to commit to when you're fighting a character like Jack, who oh, has yeah. so many good pokes. Yeah, and you know his down back one will beat the standing two if they're going heads up or if they're playing at a certain range where Jack really... Uh, where Jack really feels comfortable because that down forward two, we know it has massive range from crouch down back one. Counter hit. And another thing I would like to know, I want to know why he's not going. Jin has options off of that. I want to know oh the my. start pattern behind it. Oh, oh electric. This is going to hurt any wave in between it. I like it. Oh, he dropped it. Yep, that back three. Side step two. He's going to try to get something started again. The Roma is coming off a first match victory. I like it. He's hitting him with everything right now. Look at this comeback. Oh, nice parry. 
gets the two fours to punish, and then a down back four. Moves like that are really good, but you have to get so close. It's risky to do that versus Jack Seven. Yeah, and we've seen it earlier. I mean, the oh man, what, what is going on? That's the low parry making up for lost damage early on. Downstairs, gets the follow up here into the needle, trying to get full extension. No while standing three. Oh, he's gonna have another chance here. Again, we're at the bottom floor now. While standing three, uh, uh, uh. Down two, gets the perfect. This second match is looking completely different. Oh yeah, Cherry Berry Mango fighting back hard, looking to even it up here. Definitely what he needs if he wants to stay alive in the tournament. Again, both of these players in the loser's bracket. Okay, wow, look at the range that they're playing at. This is the final floor, so you have to be careful. Cherry Berry Mango gets Oh, another the electric. hook fist. Gets the combo this time, double back three, gonna get the splat, uh-uh, uh. And the wall. Toe kick. Oh, Demon Paw just out of range, though. Almost had the wall splat. This match looking a lot better for Cherry Berry Mango. Gets hit by the standing four, that one, two, four, and another down back four to take it this time. Three straight rounds there. Yo, you're a joke. <laughs> Where's he walking to? There's no exit there. He's gonna hop right over there, man. Okay, you're right. I forgot he got wings. Exactly, dude. He could just turn into a demon and fly off. He could just fly back up to the top floor if he wanted to. You're right. I'm sorry, Steve. I forgot. I'm not anime enough. It's Man, I don't think cool. about you're that kind of stuff. You're, you're anime enough. It's that's okay. What you, that's what you always say. I'm never <laughs> anime enough. <laughs> you always tell me that. <laughs> yeah, I know you try to be nice, Steve. You ain't got to lie to me. But, of course, they're picking the same stage here. Again, winner of this match will move on in the tournament. Loser will get fourth place. Jack 7 operates pretty well on the stage, as you guys see before. But I feel like one of the reasons that Naroma didn't do too well is because he wasn't breaking the floor. He was letting Jin break those yeah, floors. Yeah, man, you have to. I mean, it's either use it or get hit by it. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Pushing again towards, oh my. He Hot. went for the parry, doesn't matter, the, the whip. Can -can. We got a whole four pack now. While standing three, uh, 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 uh. Look at the damage. Here we go, but he's now in, re oh man, that was a big risk. Two, one, power crush again, still alive. Still has another has chance. chance. Oh, oh, that's gonna damn. be it. Oh, wow. Did you see that? What a good call, that was a good call. He stayed alive. Naroma Down was pretty much two. done. And these matches, the matches, not the rounds, have been back and forth. The oh, first yeah. round, Naroma just beat the, just beat the Oh, he whiffed the third hit. Uh-oh. Be careful. Back forward, single back forward two, just to see what was gonna happen. Naroma didn't take the bait. Oh, yeah. Now those floor breaks working out in Naroma's favor. This could be the, no, down back one. Uh-oh, not looking good for Cherry Berry Mango. He's gonna have to be very careful and right now, Naroma. One round away from carrying Jack in Japan. It's a potential top three. While standing oh! oh, wow. Ugh. He's prepping. Measure his body. Get the body bag. We're putting him on the tombstone. What's his name again? <laughs> Romper Boy? <laughs> He's the caretaker. Uh, uh, uh. Ugh. Oh, man. Look at this. And the demon, demon paw. No, no. Get him, paw. <laughs> Get him, paw. Small to punish. Felt a lot more confident. You know, Sherry Berry Mango still fighting hard. Staying alive. Man, there's a crowd. They are looking, trying to find out who's going to take it. This wow, is the last international match that we're going to have, potentially. Oh, wow. Ducks under that attack and still gets that, that shuffle hands three. Uh-huh. 4-4-3 four, four, again. Oh, you almost had it there. And lots of blatant ducking. What a backdash by Naroma to get out of range of that down 4-1-4-4. Four, four, four. Oh, he went for a throw attempt there. He's gonna have to be careful. You know, we haven't seen the hop kicks either. Here's a big hell sweep. What's he gonna do? 4-4-3. Four, four, oh, he gets countered. That might be it. And just does dash up down four. Oh, the wave Keep it dash. safe, right? Yes. Final round. Here we go. One of these two players will make it to our top three. Now, that stance cancel is plus. But if you challenge with a clean low and you read correctly without him doing can can kicks, it's go oh, wow. Oh, he's trying to do it, but he's just out of range. Nice parry recovery. Oh, my God. Down back one. Oh, big counter hit. Into the spring kick. He was ready that's for the tombstone. And that's it. Ugh. No Roma staying alive for Japan. Congratulations. You get top three, but you have to fight the loser of JDCR Insane. You're screwed. Body. <laughs> Never mind. That's going to be a good match either way. Yeah, that is going to be a pretty good match no matter what. So Cherry Berry Mango getting fourth place here. But we're going to go back to the winner's side. This is going to be sick. I can't wait. Cherry Berry Mango made me mad proud right there. Oh, yeah. Vanilla Jim. Anyone Flynn. that can pull off that color shirt makes me mad proud. 
Let's check it out. Let's see what we just saw. I mean, this was a great set back and forth. And, you know, it was hard. We, we said this from the beginning. Like, Jin in this matchup, I feel like it could have gone either way. But, again, the, the, the disadvantage early on was very evident. You see it here. He was up two rounds to one early on. Dude, he has to go. Look how look how close he has to play to Jack to make this count. And, and it, that just gives Jack the advantage. He's always going to have an opportunity to stop you from doing something. Oh, yeah. One clean counter hit, and you're getting carried to the wall with a lot of damage on top of it. And we saw this combo so many times. Oh, yeah. Floor break. I, I feel like he got, he lost even though he had all the four breaks. Almost all of them. And that last game was a lot different, though. Oh, here Gets we go. Pushing towards the uh, wall. And this uh, was uh, such uh. a long combo. Get him, Paul. This series, that series alone, takes it with a down back four. And this is when he came back two rounds straight. Oh, he's yeah. about to lose. Goes in with a simple down four to take it to tie up the set completely. And this, ugh. Going to seal the deal. Yeah, It's only proper you end the burial with the tombstone. <laughs> Look at him. His mouth was ajar. Is that what you uh, like yeah. to say? <laughs> His mouth was ajar. Put the pickle in it. I've never said that. I don't I don't think well, I've Where, where do you pull the pickles out of? The jar, I, I, right? I, I, okay, I'm just saying. Right, okay, okay, got it. Sick. All right. A I'm jar. Good. Okay, all right, all right. You think I'm nasty, it was too don't far. you? It was, it was too far. The metal was too strong. People need to start thinking faster. I'm just saying. <laughs> I like how we cater your commentary to like two people that get references. <laughs> you two people, we, we thank you guys. Thanks thank for you. tuning in. Man, we, we, what would we do? The Last Dragon earlier? Man, I need that on Blu-ray too. We Look, I'm telling you now. I hope there's somebody out there watching explaining all of these dumb jokes. Yeah, there's an old guy in the chat. What they meant was. <laughs> yeah, you youngsters don't know nothing about uh -huh. this. But we're going back to the winner side, I believe. We're going to have Echo, yep. Echo Fox Saint versus JDCR. Of course, we've seen this plenty of times. We've seen it a lot. However, these guys are training partners. I feel like there's no better way of no better representation of how strong a player you are than to have to fight one of your best friends and player, like your power up partners in top eight mm. of anything. I have a feeling. Do you want to know? I'm listening. I have a feeling that Saint is going to pick Eddie. I, w I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised at all. We'll see. We'll see. But you know, I feel like since they practice against Junding as well, it's going to be interesting ah. to see how this plays out. Are we going to see the classic? Are we going to see a dragon off Eddie pick? Are we going to see dragon off Jack? We might see drag. We might see Heiachi Eddie, you know? Yeah. All right, dragon off of it. Dragon off versus Jack. That's the match we're going to get. Oh, wait, wait. No, no. Wait, wait okay, a right. minute. Man, the venue looks so sick from over here. Mm -hmm. There's still people playing casuals in the back. Yeah, man. You don't get too many chances to to play this kind of competition. All right, looks like he's locked in on Jack, but what is young JD? See, oh, never mind. He's not locked in. Wait, you don't Leo, do you? Oh, shoot. What did I say? Oh my god, my breath flew out. <laughs> what did I say? You're too hype. Calm I down, got too bro. crazy. I'm sorry. Give me another one. Another. Sage like, oh, come on, bro. Mini. We're going to go to the mini side. There you go. Here we go. So Echo Fox Saint versus Echo Fox JDCR. Again, this is our winners finals. This is going to be 3 out of 5. Uh, first to 3 wins this time around. Now we have Eddie Played by Saint versus JDCR, rocking his dragon off. Considering how well he played with Heiachi the last time he played, I don't see why he wouldn't. But I feel like this is a matchup thing. This is when you know, look, I'm playing the homie. He knows that matchup maybe too well. Yep. So I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna take it a step further. The meta. Eddie versus Dragon off. That's what you got in front of you. There you go. Starting it off here, down twos. Uh huh. Side step four, and you know, Eddie has so. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, let's see that again. That was sick. Okay, goes for the mid that time. A four, four. Oh, oh. wow. Part of circle four, two. He's okay. gonna push him towards the wall here. Yeah, double axe handle smash, that back 12. Now oh, right and he gets a combo. What's he gonna do? Down two, I like it. Oh man, that is not good. <laughs> that was one of the things that people said. That's one of the ways to get around that rage drive. Yeah, step to the game of love. Mm -hmm. Step, step, side to side. Oh, down two. 
Oh, got him with the forward four. Let's see what kind of pressure he's going to do here. Running two, and that's going to be very hard for Eddie to evade. Actually, any of these moves that uh, JDC are throwing out. Oh, big counter hit. What's he going to do with it? A, get some good damage out of it. Oh, oh went for the trouble. I what like it. Dunk. I like it. Wow, that was weird. Yeah, that was back turn city. What's he going to do? Goes oh, for the low. Kicks. Oh, is that enough? No. Oh, God. A side step four, I believe. Man. All right. So Saint evening it up. Now one round apiece here. You see JDCR just waited for that low to come out. Oh, yeah. That's how you know these guys play each other a lot. Oh, oh wow. Big launch. Here's a follow-up. What's he going to do this time? Yo, flashy. Huh? Ugh. Big stuff here. Back one, two, follow-up. Oh, okay. All right, first game. Looking really good for JDCR. Saint does have a round on the board, so it's not done just yet. Down two. Again, oh. big down forward two. That's going to be a nice combo. Not only that, he's going to definitely get the wall here. One, two, uh. Into the mix-up. JDCR looking really good here, but again, you can't count out Saint. Saint has an opportunity here. Goes for the big, oh, what a punish. Ugh. Into the back turn. Oh, was it enough? Oh, oh Rodeo, Rodeo, get off my beret, dude. I wish it was a raspberry one. <laughs> What's he going to do? 30 seconds left. He has a sliver of life left. Yeah, anything is going to do it, and that first game goes to JDCR. Now, this is going to be a tough situation. Now, is Saint going to try again? Try and try again? Or is he going to go? Okay, he's going back to the character select screen. But it's going to be interesting. Which character is he going to pick? He has a number of options here. I mean, he can play many other characters. I don't know if we're going to see Bob. I don't know if we're going to see Jack. But I feel like whenever he does pick Jack in the matchup, he tends to start off well. But then over time, JDCR is just able to wait a minute. It's just like he remembers. He's yeah. like, oh, yeah, I forgot who I was fighting. I can actually just do this. He's thinking. Okay, he's going to Jack. Man, I would love to, to hear his thought process on when he, I Actually, I'm going to ask him later. What's his thought process on, on fighting uh, JDCR all the time? Like, what, what do you do in tournament that's different from what you would do when you play him in casuals? Like, is there a difference? Do you feel like you have to figure it out? Is there much more, or do you just feel like he's the better player? I mean, and that's not a bad thing to say. Like, I feel like the only way you can improve is by saying, like, yo, man, that guy beats me because he is better than me, and there are things that I need to learn. I mean, and there's a bunch of footage to show for you to see anyway, so. Play the tapes. Check the tapes. All right, here we go. And we're in the market stage. Saint and JDCR. JDCR up 1-0 right now in this race to three. Oh, wow. Uh, he sidestepped that. Oh, yeah. Hey. Uh -huh. What's he going to do with it? Get the slide. Slide. No counter hit. And oh. there's another sidestep. That was so good. Now, other side, he's going to have to be careful. No punish. Oh, and he just lets it rip. That's going to hit, maybe? No, no, never mind. And the punish was ready. Armed and ready, JDCR able to take that first round. This just looks difficult. This looks really hard no matter what. Oh, yeah. And, you know, look, he sidestepped again. That's three. JDCR is, you know, he's one of those people that preach about movement. And it's showing right now in this matchup right now. Why would I block that when I can launch you? I don't have to, you know? I can just launch you. Look. I'm going to put you back in the back of the truck. Send you, ship you out with the veggies. <laughs> big mid. Oh, this is a big chance for uh, Saint here. Oh, okay. down back, right. too. Okay. I like it. Varied offense here. There we go again. Both players finding that neutral space here. Goes for the down back one. Nice. Went for a punish. Oh, oh, while standing wow. too, and you know JDCR, he knows the perfect time to pull out the launchers. And you see him sidestep to realign himself to make sure he it was directly in line with the wall. Running two. All right down two. Another side man, that is that is crazy. The Not fact that he is side. Oh, he had a chance to side. Oh, oh Perry, man, this just looks so like this. This looks hard for Saint. To have to fight like a player like this. A monster. Yeah. <laughs> You're a monster, JDCR. You're a monster. Yeah, he is. I'll tell you that. All right, hugs him. And once again, that wall is going to mess up the opportunity for a lot of damage. Just left on the table because of that position. 
has a chance here. I mean, he's going to have to be very, very careful, but he is down on life big time here. Does have the rage. And look at that, JDCR. Now, I would say he just has his number, but JDCR, I feel like he's playing very counter Saint. I feel like anybody who wants to stand a chance versus a player like Saint has you gotta to disrespect. Play. You have to get in his ass. Yeah. I, I hate to say it, you got to get in his ass. got to get in his ass, man. And even though he has his number, you should change your phone number, block him. Exactly, Right man. now, when you guys are at the top, you're not friends. Sometimes you don't return that text, man. Mm. Sometimes you might forget that extra order of hot wings he wanted, man. You have to do that sometimes to let him know you ain't no punk. Let him know. Man, I, that, that felt really real. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're going to rematch. Man, like I said, though, um, I would love... Man, I feel like that would be a sick interview. How come no, Has people asked him that? Um... It's going to be interesting. I think we should talk to him re regardless, no matter what. Mm. Put him in the corner of the room. Anyway, JDCR up 2-0 right now. All right, down 4-2. Going to get the wall. Uh, uh, uh. Follow up. What's he going to do this time? Goes for the noggin smash. Wow, and fights his way out of that corner, and there's a back swing blow from JDCR. Wow, nice duck. But you got to capitalize while standing one, not enough, side wall stun. And every time he gets a good hit, it's only on the wall. That's the only time he seems to be able to crack. JDCR oh. open. Yo, it's, he hit a button this that's time. That's going to hit. Oh. The insurance, I like to call it. Woo. Okay, all right. Another round on the board for JDCR. Or Saint. Excuse me. It's okay. Saint. The beret and the mohawk, they look alike. Oh, man, I like what he's doing. Oh, I liked what he was doing. All right, now pushing towards the wall here. JDCR extra dangerous. Just a knockdown. Count on him. Going to have to be careful. Nice interrupts the tackle. Off standing two. Oh, up four, four to get that hit. And right now, down four again. I'm starting to feel Saints pain now, man. I feel like you're just fighting your like your mental equal. He's like, no, 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 and no. Gets the hug that 4412 and one plus two right out of the gate. Oh yeah, pushing at the wall here, gets a big shoulder. It's looking real good for Saint here in this round. Oh, that caught him moving. JDCR looking like typical. Day at work judo hits him right inside. Oh the side no, of the is neck. this comeback city again? Oh, sidewall son, what's he gonna finish it with? Oh, that was a big risk there. I'm not sure why he did that point blank. Well, his back was to the wall, and this at that point in time, Saint was not committing to anything. So. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if he did go for a jab or something, that might have been the greatest read ever. Would have definitely won him the round. While standing 2-1. Oh, wow. Show there. Caught him standing up. And JDCR, get off of me, dude. He almost had him through that power crush there, but able to break it. Answers with a power crush of his own, and this looks like the round for Saint. Mm. Saint staying alive. Two matches to one now. And Saint at the advantage, looking really strong, made the right reads, got the hits that he needed there, and didn't let JDCR sidestep. That was the key right there. So let me ask you. What's up? So let's just say you had to play. We, we are playing. Yeah. And we play with each other all the time. Yep. What would be your thought process if you had to, if, if all we did is go back and forth when we played casuals, but in tournaments, I always won? What would you be thinking right now? I, okay, what I would be thinking, I think a, a lot of people would be thinking the same thing is, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do something that this person doesn't expect. And the problem with that is you're going to start playing outside of your normal comfort zone. You're going to start using maybe, I don't want to say desperation tactics, but you're going to start doing unorthodox tactics that you usually don't use unless you practice it. Yeah. That's the thing. And If you practice it, you're it's doing different. it with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, sometimes practice doesn't come out the same way when you actually test it. You know, field results may vary. <laughs> I know... Uh, a few people have said this, but sometimes you play different in casuals than you do in tournaments. Oh, yeah. You know? The adrenaline, the, the just the surroundings overall, and just your overall feeling. I mean, sometimes you got to play, and uh, you got to be pushed that way. Oh, wow. It's what makes us uh, it makes us the difference between humans and Saiyans, I guess. <laughs> you learn from each fight, right? Yeah. Gets nice. the two throw. Oh, I feel like that was a side switch. That was the second time he's done that this, this match alone. Gets a knockdown. Spring kick. And you got to be careful, man. The awareness and knowing when you get the free hits and when to hold back and get another opportunity. I guess the two. And really, this is really showing what the problem is with Jack on paper because GDCR knows which way to step and how to play the mental matchup. Oh, see, okay, now we got the bolt cutters out. 
Uh -huh. So that is another factor. So we really haven't seen that move too much. And that move actually has some pretty decent tracking up close. He caught him flinching there. But it is a big risk because it is punishable. So they're, they're actually now playing at a pretty different range from what we're used to. The pace has changed and everything. Yeah, the demeanor as well. Uh, Saint, Saint picking his, his hits here. Yep, and he's playing a lot safer. Okay, and JDCR went for a sidestep down forward too there. He thought he saw something. And, you know, early on he was able to sidestep a lot of the things. But right now he is not, he's not, he, I mean, Saint not moving an inch. He's Look. in there. Now this is good. Now this is Saint. The Saint. And now you see JDCR swinging. You see him saying, yo, why is Saint not moving while rising 2-1? It's, it's actually changing the meta now. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to wait a pinch longer. Nice yeah. sidestep. It's that delay. Oh, oh, power crush this time. Like I said, these are things that we have not seen him do. Just like, get off of me, man. You know, and that probably normally wouldn't have worked. Oh, just because JDCR is playing so compact with jabs and down forward ones. And now look, now you see him playing back at a further range, and uh -huh. now he's challenging up close. Down 4-1, goes for the up 4-4, running 2 just to keep that pressure. Saint is on match point right now. Oh, down 4-2, and this isn't going to be it just yet. Not just yet, but he's got a chance. Again, he has his back to the wall. He's going to have to be careful. Goes for the tackle. Get off of me, dude. Sweep the legs. Oh, in the corner. One. Oh, oh he went and he it. waited. Look, he's just standing in his face. He's so disrespectful. Just out of range, he's gonna have to be careful. Oh, the block, no punish. What? 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 Great drive, what's he gonna do? Oh, the Oh my oh, god. JDCR able to squeak it out. E -e -e. Saint is making me hype right now. I gotta stand up, all right. Yeah, just if you flip the table, flip it that way. Uh, <laughs> Here we go, what's he gonna do this time? I just like seeing good matches. It's like I don't even care who wins right now, but these matches are looking good. I don't good. know about you, I care who wins. <laughs> Oh. oh, here we go. Nice stop. Follow up. Uh-oh. Mental guard break. It's not looking good. He might tie it up on rounds. Here we go. Final round. All right. If JDCR takes us, he will move on to our grand finals. But if Saint can tie it up, we're going to have ourselves another match. Down 4-4. Four, four. Wow, I can't believe he's sidestepping. And there's a low parry from JDCR. Now pushing towards the wall here. He's not going to get too much damage. Oh, he doesn't get the wall stun. Yeah, that quick tech. It looks like he hit the wall pretty low, so he got up. Oh, yeah. W wall standing two again. Oh, wow, and he got a little too anxious. That running two, going to get the counter hit and the wall. Oh, he misjudged the combo there. Oh, no oh. But I love the patience. I love the patience from Saint. What's he going to do? Goes for the back one. Doesn't let it rip, but what a duck there. and no proper punish. He still got a hit, and there's a low parry. And that might be it. No. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, that's back it. Up and that's it. Man. Good stuff, JCR. I can, I can watch them play, like, all day. Like, I can legit, like, watch them play all day just to see what Saint would do differently from match to match. Man. And JDCR, of course, moving on to our grand finals. Sit down. Jesus Christ, and Saint right. is now in the loser's bracket where he's going to face off against the Roma, and we might have ourselves a good old fashioned Jack competition. A Jack competition? Yeah, a Jack official matchup. Let's go and see that match, what, how we ended up here, because we're at our last three players. And of course, the early on Eddie pick, which is what we called did not really work out in his favor. And I'm looking, I'm look, let, yeah. let me break to the sky. Yeah. I'm and, looking and at the way that the JDCR plays this. He, he looks so, so comfortable. And man, I can't, I, want, I really want to talk to these guys about this matchup. <laughs> I would love to. Cause that third game, Saint was playing completely. It was like he was tired. He's like, you know what? I'm tired of this happening. I want I want to play this way and not Maybe this way. Maybe he's hit a new level of enlightenment. Maybe it's going to take this loser's bracket run for him to come back and get that rematch. But even then, it's a tall order. You're going to have to beat JDCR two sets, three out of five, to win the championship. It's going to be that way for either one of these players, Noroma or Saint. So either one, and you know, they're both Jack players. Who's going to who's going to be able to take out JDCR? And look at some of the decisions he made. A lot of the times in these earlier matches, the only reason that Saint was not able to hit these combos was because the only time he opened up JDCR was against the wall. And it seemed like all those combos, all the damage was stopped short. And then when it started happening to JDCR, it, the exact same result happened. Oh, yeah. He it turned like, it up. He changed it yeah. up. And the thing is, Saint has uh, a different level of delay. He was delaying his attacks way differently. And we saw a very different result from the outcome. I mean, it, it helped him for a while. He was able to win a match, potentially winning a second match, but it just fell short. JDCR with that clutch low parry at the end, and that's that kind of things happened. So, 
Oh wait, so we got a we have an advertisement coming up, I believe, for Seam, just to let you guys know. Yeah, the, actually, the Asia Pacific Regional Finals for the Tekken World Tour is going to be happening in Singapore. It's that's October 14th through the 15th, and I'll be there. Mr. Tasty Steve will be there, hey. and I hope you guys check that out. And if you're going to be in the area competing, make sure you guys make it out. More information, of course, at BeastAPAC.com. Yeah, please feel free. You see us, say hello. Let us know you're enjoying the event. Hashtag TWT. We're at we're in Korea right now. The Masters <laughs> event for Tekken 7. Mark Man, Tasty Steve. Giuna was on the mic earlier. Man, we've he's been still doing here. Like, he's, he's still, still here. He's here. He's right here. He's looking at every master we look at. He's taking this in. Like there a he sponge. is. You know what that cup is. You know what that cup Drinking is. Drinking the best water ever. Strong water. Oh man. So loser's final right now. Yeah. Race no. to three. Japan versus Korea. So Japan's last hope in Noruma. Noruma. And I think, and another thing that I feel like some people don't account for is the fact that, like, after you play, like, somebody like Saint, your boy that you play all the time, the switch up that has to occur for you to come back down and play somebody that's just been watching you play. Oh, yeah. Like, that, <laughs> like this guy is not going to be a JDCR playing, you know? Not saying he's not that good, but they play very differently. All right, tail of the tape. This is where the real match starts. Which characters are going to be picked, which we assume is going to be the robot, the Great Robot Wars, right? <laughs> the Great Robot War. Oh, my goodness. Are you picking? Oh, my. So Saint picks Feng Wei, a character that we really haven't seen him pick at all. But we have seen JDCR pick Fang. Wait, was it Saint that picked or Noroma? Wait, we, let's make sure first. Before let's we say double this. check. Saint is actually on the first player side, so Saint did pick Feng Wei, I believe. Okay, that would make sense. Like I said, we have seen. So the names are correct. Are we good on the names? That, that's right. Okay. We're about to find out. I'm gonna look at his uh, controls to make sure. Now the same thing guy has fame. Yep, here we go. Wow, heat the palm right away. Down two, follow up, here we go. That's gonna push towards the wall as well. And he can get a balcony break if he time, no. Oh, nice, no punish. Oh. Second hit, landing, shoulder downstairs, and that's gonna end it. Uh, 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 the final hit of that combo and after the balcony break, and we're already on, on the bottom floor in the first round. Yeah, Noroma taking that first match. Or first round, I should say. Oh, Scissors. 4-12. Uh, 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 uh. Wall. Uh, uh, uh. Here we go. Yo. And man, it's not looking good. This Fangway pick is not working out at all. Yo, bro. Character select. Just forget this round. Yeah, you Back have three the chances board. here. <laughs> I mean, oh, he went for the down low. Oh, tries to get the punish. It's just a little too slow, but that's a big low. Here we go. What's he going to do with it? He, oh, he hesitates. Definitely not ready to do the follow-up there. You had to... Four dash cancels to the 4 3 4. Down 4 1 and then tries to move around. Nice catch right there. Small delay. Nope, oh, there's a punish. 1 2. Goes for the down 4 2 2. Now Get getting a me. grab. Yeah. All right, running 3. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Oh, so it was the other way around. Ah, okay. All right. My bad. So Saint is actually player 2 then. So he's up two rounds. Okay, I was about to say, man, jeez. <laughs> All you Jack players, I can't tell. Uh, <laughs> All right, nice. Goes for a combo here. What's he going to do? Move. Oh, what? Sidestep. No break on the double throw from Saint. Oh, here we go. Here's the punish. He's going to have a chance now. Uh, close to that wall. Debug catches him again. Big stop. Another debug. Running three. Here's the low. Oh, chip damage. Oh, my. Oh, God. wow. Final round. Final round. First match. Final round already. Up 4-4. Uh, uh, uh. Wall, uh. Oh, no. Mix up the you know, elbow. And this surprise pick from Naroma definitely wasn't ready for it, but he's now working this first match. The final round. Who's going to take it? Oh, into the low. Close for the mid. Saint in trouble back against the wall. Oh, Ooh. and another down for one. A perfect. Man, no Roma. Roma is putting in work here with Fengwei. 
Is Saint going to change characters? No, he's going to stick. He's going to stick to it. Maybe he feels confident. Maybe he feels like it was something he just didn't account for, and he can add it to his game now. All right, here we go. Back into the set. 1-0 for Naroma. And this is such a surprise. I thought Naroma was only going to be picking Jack. Surprise, surprise. All in your I eyes. wonder if he has a surprise for JDCR as well. If he can make it to JDCR. I mean, we'll it's see. only first game. Yeah, can't count him out. Shoulder. Oh, caught him with the down four too. Here comes Saint. Follow up with the screw. Uh -uh. Some decent damage out of it. Oh, man, what a whiff punish. Oh, went for the crouch throw. Is that going to be enough to kill, though? Yeah, that, that might be it. No, Very just close. a sliver of life. Down four, I'm calling it. Oh, he was trying to get in range. He's, He's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. Down four, I'm calling it. Oh, oh a jab. Wow, a jab. the patience there. Naroma taking that first round again. Saint has one more chance if he does lose with Jack here, but, I mean, you can't count him out yet. The scissors follow up into the big boot. Now pushing towards the wall here. Oh, what oh. second hit! I can't believe that landed. The first hit was blocked. Because you wouldn't think he's going to finish that string. You're like, uh -huh. you blocked it. One plus four, and that's going to hit. It's going to do some decent damage. Now Counter that's gonna hit. Hurt. That's going to hurt. Oh, yeah. But it's not going to kill. That's the problem. And he's not even in rage yet. Oh, now he's done. Uh, yeah. Okay, back four. Second match, second round. Looking a little better for Saint. He's going to have to keep this momentum if he's going to want to stop Naroma, though. Naroma looks like he's trying to play. Naroma actually looks like he's trying to play. He definitely has some good movement here. He knows, obviously, the Jack character matchup. So a lot of the normal Jack stuff not working on him. And he's playing at the perfect range. Oh wow, he God. gets the combo, too. And he made the balcony break. No. Oh, no, just out of range. Yeah, they trade blows, but didn't crouch cancel there. Not able to get the combo. Hey, here we go. Is he going to go for the crowd dash? One, no, the big power crush. All right. Trying to fight his way out of that corner. Naroma trying to keep him in. You see him move to the opposite side just to say, nah, man, you're going to fight against this wall. Or you're not fighting at all. Uh-oh. Not looking good for Saint. Saint's going to have to get out of there. Wow, I thought he sidestepped that. Tries to go for a down four, two. Oh, the duck. Oh. He was ready. But the wall. Oh, this is not even going to kill. There's no time left, though. He had to do it. But he has an opportunity for one more mix-up, Steve. Is it going to be enough? Here it is. Oh, my gosh. The wild standing four puts an end to the dream there. And Aroma still continuing his assault. Match two. Not looking good for Saint yet again. No duck. One. All right, didn't finish your string. You saw last time he got punished by what a sidestep down four two from Saint. Naroma putting Japan on his back right now. He's glistening. Naroma down on life right now, but you can't count him out. Bang with the superior pokes. Big mid. The second match. Oh, he good. got him. Finds the down four two. No rage though. I'm not sure if he's gonna kill him unless he gets that last hit and no wall. Oh, he made it with the big What oh the? Oh, my God. A raw 4-4-3 four, four, lands, and he gets a stomp follow-up, and it was on counter hit. What? Not looking good. And Saint goes right back in. You think? I think he might be phased. Like, this dude, what did, I, dude, what did I say? I said he just came from fighting JDCR. Yep. It takes a lot yep. to change that mindset going back in. I mean, regardless. He's of playing this, a different not, player. Yeah, he's playing a different player. It's really hard. Not just that. It is Naroma who is right now going through. Oh, man, this is tough. Goes for the big upper. No punish there. Low. Eight. Again. Saint just looks like he does not know what to do right now. Naroma making all the right calls. Gets the hug. Doesn't finish the round just yet, though. And we've seen Naroma come back multiple times down 4-1. Naroma playing out of his mind throughout the entire tournament day. But Saint, you know, has an answer. Here's the big down 4-2. There's a screw follow-up. He's going to get the wall for sure. What's uh -huh. he going to do? Is he going to do the shoulder? Yes, he does. Oh, Three. man. Here we go. Dash up. There you go. The adjustments, the lows. Again, just poking away at the life bar. And you see Saint trying to go for a throw. No, oh, there's a punish. Fighting up against this wall right now. 
Saint looks like he's getting his he's getting his wits about him right now, playing a lot safer. Naroma has to go a little further, though. Down fours. And I like how Naroma is really keeping the assault in his favor. Oh, the trade blow is not looking good for Saint, though. He's going to have to be careful. Oh, that wasn't enough. <coughs> Why would you do it? Oh, my gosh. And he waited to make sure that the shoulder would land. There's a lot of recovery on that slide, oh, yeah. too. Yeah, that's so much. He has to get all the way back up. He was hoping to get it to hit low. Man, he bet everything. I can't believe he went for that. I actually remember Anakin doing that exact same thing, I believe. Oh, yeah. Pretty recently, too. All right, here we go. What's going to happen? More pressure there from the big elbow. Ooh. Oh, wow. Wow, go. standing one. This is going to be big. Is he going to go for the rage art? No, don't spend it. Wall, now you want to hit him. There that's going to end it there for sure. Go. Now, that's what I'm talking about. You got to be able to do that. I Clean see. your plate. Uh -huh. Woo! All right. Needs one more. He needs another round if he's trying to stay alive in this loser's final. I feel like if he can get this match, he'll do a Again, lot better. Double mo modified Volcano Buster broken both times. Now now you see this confidence coming back at Saints play. Three throws, and on the third try, he gets that Volcano Buster. Got to be persistent. Keep going. Can't break them all. Yo, shout out to Unconquerable. You can't break them all. You can't break them all. And if you can, you're probably good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean that's true, too. But right now, Saint with the lead here, looking to maybe get a match here. Oh, I like it. Caught him moving. Oh, oh. that's not going to work again, young man. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh no, he doesn't no. have the wall. Not a clean hit. That's oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. This is scary. Oh, the other way. I'm a robot. The one punch. Dude, that would like kill you. Your head would like pop like a Gallagher. Explode. Man. That <laughs> is a Gallagher. <laughs> uh, the shout outs to the one person that got that in the <laughs> chat. Bring out the mallet. Man, that was crazy. Naroma. He's going to. I'm pretty sure he's going to stick to it, right? Oh, yeah. It, it's, a, it's a rematch, right? Yeah, it's a rematch. There we go. Rematch. Talk to the hand. He's going crazy. Round four. All right. All right, dude. Loser's final. One match in here for, for Fox Saint. Echo Fox Saint needs another match. She needs two more matches. Nice. 4-3. Oh, Let's it rip. Going to get the full Not combo. Set. He's going to get the wall here. Into the big stop. Goes for the mix-up, but he's lays there. He doesn't go for it. And again, if you guys are tuning in, this is Loser's Finals. Just a reminder, it's a race to three. Oh, the big stomp. First round. Game four. Not looking good for Saint. Naroma making just a great call here just to open Saint up in a lot of these instances. Okay, nice challenge. Second hit, low. delay me. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wow, just a shoulder. Gets a, uh, oh, no punish. What is he going for there? He's going for the standing four. Yeah, a lot of uh, sometimes when you play fighting games, you switch up the combo you do, even though if it's not optimal, just to throw off the timing of the person you're fighting. It's something a lot of players do it unintentionally. Some people do it intentionally, but you have to be aware of it. Yeah, it's all about comfort zone. Yeah. Oh, the noggin, the low noggin. That's going to be it. He's going to take this round. Oh, no, he dropped the combo. He wasn't ready. Just like that, again, no Roma one round away from moving on to our finals. Ugh. One. Here comes Saint. Saint fighting to stay alive. In this match, he has to win three rounds straight if he wants to bring this back and stay alive again. Oh, oh. We caught him. I thought that was going to crush too. Uh oh, Saint fighting back. Gets the knee. And if you notice, he's going back to old Saint play where he's hitting him with the twitch ducks. He's seeing that Naroma isn't reacting right away. So you. Oh, nice. Oh, Not he close dropped enough. it. Yeah, he was trying to get the crowd cancel there. Yeah, he was crouch canceling into the forward one plus two. Unable to get. Oh, he gets the wall. Everything is hitting right now. The no, oh, no, not looking good. Looking dangerous. One more mix up. And that's a uh, perfect to get Sin Saint home third place. And now the real challenge begins. Now Naroma has to face JDCR. Not only do you have to face JDCR, you just eliminated his boy. Yeah. This is this is the, the bloodline vengeance right now. And the thing is, you know, Naroma, his main character, we've seen it, is Jack. Will he have the cojones? The balls. To pick the, Jack the against the Jack killer. The fortitude to pick Jack versus JDCR after he just witnessed what happened? Ah, man, there are so many questions to ask, and so many will be answered in due time. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we just saw. This was a sick match. Let's do it again. And the surprise pick, of course, man. 
We thought it was Saint at first, mm -hmm. but it was Naroma, the Jack Specialist, switching to Feng Wei. Down 4-2, blocking, punishing. And Naroma just looking way too sharp. Saint not completely out of it. You can see him a huge sigh of relief getting those rounds. Now pushing uh, uh, towards the uh, wall, of course. Oh, and this is when he stayed alive. And oh, that and comeback. That, that was oh, crazy. Man. I can't believe he landed that. That mental damage. He's like, look, what is he looking at? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I did it. That was me. He's smiling. He is feeling himself. He was nodding right there. Wow. Ugh. And once again, one of these situations, I'm going to dash all the way in while you're getting up. Yeah, I'm not going to whiff anything. And I can't believe that happened. And this is when Saint gets the match on the board. And I feel like that should have happened maybe, what, a match ago, before, even before that. That second game was Saints to and win. And this final round, we saw he was just demolishing him. Yeah. Ended up getting a perfect, but, man, what a display of offense and reads from Naroma. Now, of course, with a hefty reward or maybe the worst thing you could ask for. Maybe the worst thing you could ask for, the grand finals with JDCR. <sighs> all right, guys, this is what it's all lit up to right now. This entire day's worth, 48 hours straight of yeah. commentary and ridiculous matches, impossible odds, competition so out of this world, it's it's kind of scary to even think about. We've had some of the best competitors worldwide here <laughs> in Tekken, and now you have JDCR versus Naroma, Japan versus Korea. And not just that, man versus machine. <laughs> I'm going to call it man versus machine. I mean, until he loses, he's going he's gonna to always be that robot to me. All right. All right, looks like JDCR oh, is wow. primed so and ready. So Saint beat Naroma, sent him to losers. Oh, really? If that's what if, this, if what the screen says is correct. Oh, you're right. They had the good old fashioned Jack battle. The the battle of the Jacks, and one of them got off. So <laughs> you got me. You got me. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> I heard you guys were doing that at Evo. Yo, it carried it, over it, it all the way. It was contagious. Yeah, it, it it lasted the entire day. Shout yeah. outs to Rip. We were me and him were doing like house mic. Giuna did house mic for Blaze Blue as well. And then me and Giuna did Guilty Gear Top Eight. Yeah, the day oh, before, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or two days before. I, I don't know, day before. The day before. That was a lot of work, man. All right, guys, here we go. Our grand finals. We have Noroma from Japan going up against Echo Fox JDCR from South Korea. It has been a complete honor to Sit here and cast this with you guys. Anybody who has stuck through to the end, let if, us know. Let us know. If you've been here the entire time, let us know. I need evidence. I want jokes. I want dumb shit that I said. Dumb shit that Mark said. I want to know it all. Giuna was here too. What was he wearing? I want to know. If you were here the entire time, show me you were here the entire time. And what again, was I talking about on my Twitter timeline? Somebody made me look cooler today. Well, how did that work out? Man, you have a pop quiz for everybody? Yo, I'm just saying, man. I think people get up too easy. In the age of technology, it's too easy to go back to Twitch and be like, oh, I was here. I'm going to just look at the archives. <laughs> nah, bro. Looks I want to like know right Jack now. Here. All right, before we get into this, I have uh, a short list of things I want to thank. Of course, Cameraman, Kuni, Archison, everyone from the Beats APAC team for throwing this together. Of course, Mr. Tasty Steve, Giuna, for holding it down on the mics with us. I am ready for this grand finals. And of course, everyone watching at home, thanks for tuning in. We love Tekken. I can't wait until the next one. But right now, let's focus on this Grand Finals. Okay, here we go. Naroma has to win two sets versus the EVO champion, JDCR. Has Dude, anybody Naroma. ever done this? Hey, who is Naroma anyways? Who is this guy? He's an online player for all I know. Yeah. Oh, shit. He's the E-Jack. The, the E-Jack. Yeah, the E-Jack. From the internet. Anyways, here we go. Right into the geometric space. It's going to be an interesting matchup. Now, Noroma, does he have what it takes to play a different style Jack and maybe overcome here this matchup, the Jack Killer JDCR? Well, what if he wins? What if he beats JDCR? What if he does? What if he becomes a new robot, the new T-1000 oh, million? Oh, man. The new killer. He was sent from the future. He came in the same space spot as Future Tex. <laughs> Shout oh, out to Future Tex. Future Tex, if you will. Ugh. Wow. Yo, you just beat my boy. You think you're going to beat me with his character? Uh -oh. Sidestep two. Does it again. Oh, counter hit. You thought this would be easy? Slidey dighty. Your battle has only just begun. Down four two. Uh, 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 uh. Wall? No. 
Oh, up four four. Yes, son. You and I get. like how we see that Noroma is changing his playstyle. He's been changing his playstyle the entire day, and we really watched him mature as a player in this tournament. He's been transforming. Look at this carry. He went from basically wall to wall. Oh no! See. This is where it becomes tough. So right now, Naroma is feeling it. Like, man, this guy knows how to fight Jack. Yeah. That's what he's thinking. Hey, who does he play? The Oh, that Saint guy. Got yeah. it. All right, pick up here. He gets the wall this time. Ugh. Oh. Letting him rip. Oh, wow. Has Pitch. another chance. Shoulder again. All right, running two. Down back one. Is he going to get a perfect just to set the standard? Is he going to do it? Oh! And he gets a perfect versus JD Simone. That might be all he needed. Maybe that is the momentum pull. Maybe that is the shift here. What's yeah, he going to do with it, though? Yeah, while standing four. No duck on that second hit that is high. Oh, Tombstone. Ugh. A crazy success rate. And then follows up with the debugger just and in the case. back two follow up. And he's playing with such confidence here in this matchup. Not afraid. All right, 2-1. And JDCR probably finally realizing that this guy has a way different rhythm. Oh, yeah. That is a teammate. And you also have to remember that that plays a part. Oh, he ducked it. He was oh. ready. Maybe you're used to fighting Saint. Maybe Final you're round. not familiar with the fact that you don't. You only fight this one player, and Naroma is using that to beat JDCR. You know, JDCR, he's still collecting data. He's trying to see what he knows and how he reacts with the scissor. Early on, now pushing towards the wall here. He's going to get the follow-up into the shoulder. What's he going to do after? Big oh, boot Rocky again. Kick. The same situation we saw in the previous round. Yo, is this going to be a double per? Okay, I was about to say, yo. But, but that's the first match. I forgot that that was the first match. The first match goes to Naroma versus JDCR. Yeah. Tall order. Again, he has to beat him two sets if he wants to win the entire tournament. But this, there's a lot on the line. This is Japan versus Korea. This is not only country pride. This is, I, I want to say, this is a battle to say who is the premier jack player right now. Well, there's a lot on the line. There is a lot on the line. But like I said before, this, you're asking for a lot to say that you're about to beat JDCR in two sets. I'll give you a game. I'll give you a perfect. I'll give you two perfects. But two sets? I want you to make me a believer, Naroma. I want, I want you to show me how good of a jack player you are. I see those tweets flooded in, yo. I'm going to read these later. I'm definitely going to read these later. People showing, giving me proof that they were watching the entire day. I like this. All right, game two. What kind of drink did he drink earlier? Exactly, What man. fruit flavor was it? <laughs> All right, anyways, we're going back into the match, and we are here. Brimstone and fire. Breaks the throw. Okay. Nice. Again, the down 4-2 doesn't go punished, though. Keeping that pressure instead, JDCR opting to go in with the down 2s now. And that low swipe. Again, JDCR playing such a good character in Dragon Elf. Really maximizing the use of his character with his spacing, his backdash, his movement overall in general. Okay, gets the slot. Life in favor of JDCR right now. And you know, JDCR is playing a bit more defensively this time around. Look at the offense. Oh, the whiff! Look at Naroma pushing JDCR ever so slightly, and now in the full in the corner. Yeah, just with spatial pressure. He's just dashing in. Oh, that is going to be close. One more mix-up. Oh, the slow scissor. The Skyzer. While standing four. I like it. You know, got to play compact, got to play safe, and JDCR, proof of the pudding. A 4-4. Four, four. Naroma not overextending this time. Down 4-2, oh, catches JDCR so ducking, much. but not prepared. Drops the combo. Gets the hug, and he's going to get the wall. Small changeup. Still going to eat this shoulder, though. Naroma is crazy. He is making so many correct reads in this matchup so far. Down 4-1 again, gets the low parry. We've seen JDCR make comebacks like this before. But Naroma looking like the superior model Ooh. Jack right now. And the, the delay new. there. The T-10,000. Oh, C plan C. Plan he knew he wasn't going to move. Man, this dude has done his homework. Yeah. I can tell you that for sure. Breaks the throw again. Back 12. Gets the knockdown. And I, I don't oh. know how I feel seeing this. I mean, Naroma's Nor a relatively unknown player here in the Tekken World Tournament scene. Oh, wow. What a backdash and whip punish. The stomp to that take it. That was sick. But looking JDCR good. looking to even it up here, but Naroma has been fighting pretty damn hard. Down 4-2 again. 
while standing four. Naroma has the room on notice, being the, the Japan defendee right now versus JDCR. Oh, he caught him. A forward four, running two. Look at this pressure here. Back to with punish. Did you see what JDCR did? He's going to kill him at the wall here. Yo, my man backdashed with 412. Get now, this, if you're Naroma, are you going to switch characters? Nah, he's not going to switch. Does he have another character we don't know about? No. Yes. Oh, he's thinking about Stage it. Stage select. Okay. Okay. All right. He's pretty He's pretty uh, set on his decision. You can still circle back to character select right here, though. Yeah, if you hit circle, you can go back. Yeah, he's thinking about that. Yeah. I don't blame him. Take a breather. Take your time. All right, we're going to the Mishima Dojo. That's tied 1-1. This first set here of Grand Finals. Naroma fighting his way all throughout the loser's bracket. Actually, he was sent there by Echo Fox Saint. Getting his revenge in our loser's finals, but now going up against the big boss himself, JDCR. All right, Mishima Dojo. One match apiece. This is grand finals. Naroma looked really good that first game. JDCR answers back confidently. Running twos, pressuring. He's already at the wall, but this time fighting back. Big counter hit there. Down back one. I like what I'm seeing here. Nice down back one. Follow up again. Keeping that pressure, but there's JDCR with the sidestep. Gets the big launch. Now he's going to get the wall just short of full combo. Still great damage, and look at the fact that he's on this other wall. He oh, wants yeah. the Roman to have to fight his way out. It's nice going to be clock. very hard for him to fight out of this, but wow, he just turned the table just like that. And he legitimately just sidewalked out of the corner, like oh. with his back against the wall. That was nuts. Nice jab. JDCR going for a throw. Burns the race drive. Nice down to swipe. Follow up into the debug. And that was dangerous because he did it so close. Yeah, he didn't hesitate at all. And, you know, he's changing up his timings because in the past few matches, we've seen him dash up and then wait for a reaction. Now he's not hesitating at all. He's just going in with his pokes. Ugh. Here's JDCR, back one pursuit. Oh, one of them try to stand up or roll. That would have hit on the ground. Both of these players, again, looking for those hits. 2-1, two, 2-1-2. One, two, one, two. Goes to the throw. Unable to get it, but here's the pressure from the jumping oh, elbow. I can't wow. believe it whiffed up close. Down two, gets the counter hit. That's a side switch. No matter if he broke it or not, it works out. I wouldn't oh, be yeah. surprised if Norma goes for one of his own. And back in, what? He's just and doing he just it with this pressure. Back in the corner. What the hell is going on? JDCR is probably going to try to get out of here. Quick tech. Up 4-4 four, four again. 2-1. Again, he's keeping that pressure on. Going for the grabs. There's no time left. Jack with the disadvantage on life. JDCR trying to get out oh, of the corner. Oh, that nice sidestep, side step, though. He's going to uh -huh. keep him in the air, and that's going to be it. He's just going to... That's not going to be enough. Nice. Okay. All right. I mean, that's the only way he would have been able to win. With the time running out, he had to do a uh, call-out. Get off Time of me. freeze. Low parry. On a down back one, I believe it was. He's going to get the wall. One to one. No. Keeps the pressure on in the big get-up kick. This is big because he's going to push towards the middle of the stage. And we see what happens the minute he gets the opportunity. To and we're already back. on the other side, back to the wall. Every time, dude, this dude Naroma is making sure he's fighting with your back to the wall. Commander roll, nice roll up to get out of range. Oh, the he gets break. A, the Oki on this. What's he gonna do? He's probably getting the down four. Oh, here we go. He wanted him to try to. Oh no, no, he's gonna. Oh. oh wow! If that beat it out, that would have been it. But now JDCR looking to go up, maybe two to one here. It's going to put Naroma in an interesting and very peculiar position. It's going to give him his last chance to pick a character if he does lose this round. Eh? Uh, uh, uh. Nice. Jeez. Wow, what a block there from JDCR. Oh, wow. They trade sidestep down 4 2 again from JDCR. He's in rage. Will he spend it now? Will it be later? Oh, the scissor. Again, going oh. for the low. And this is going to be such a big round because whoever takes this will pull off into the lead and either the potential reset or tournament point. Down back. Look, look, at, the, look at the positioning on the stage already. Oh, a big launch there. 
And Aroma pushing towards the wall. Look at this pressure. Whoa, the other way. While standing 1-3. Very lucky there that he didn't get wall stun. Here comes JDCR, drops the combo. And once again, the positions change. The tide changes. Down forward two again. Too much of a delay for both of the players. JDCR already threw out the down forward two. Running two. Oh, there was a gap there. Back one. What? There's no time left. He's going to go for the Rage Drive. No, he keeps it. Get off of me, man. Oh, oh, the big hit. And Aroma is up two to one. Do you think JDCR would pick the character he nah. feels himself with. Nah, nah. He's, he's, he does have another set to play he with. He has another set. And on top of that, it's not like but he that's got why beat I up. Feel like, that's why I feel like he might switch. Nope. All Did right. he? Did he? I nah, couldn't even he tell. I was a rematch. looking at you. It's a rematch. Okay, all right. I hear the candles burning in the background. <laughs> I like all how right. you said it all soft. Yeah. Hey, I mean, you got to set the mood, right? Well, all right, here we go. <laughs> I can hear the candles burning in the background. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, you smell that? I got new candles. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. JDCR pushing towards the wall here. Not able to get the wall stun. What do we can do here? There's a nice follow-up. I like it. All right, get up four from JDCR. He is actually down on life, but his back is to the wall. Double back two. Oh, wow, what a sidestep again. Didn't go for the down four two. Both players in rage. While standing four, both. Oh, oh down the four down. one. You know, down Noroma four, one. playing out of his mind here. He's been making so many good reads in the matchup so far. Oh, this is. Planting seeds. He's been getting so much mileage out of that move. Do Yo, it again. Captain Planet, let's go. Changes position. Breaks the two throw anyway. Down back one. Noroma is second looking. hit. He is looking really good right now, and he is on the verge. The momentum, he looking just to let reset. Him walk in the down four two. He let him walk. Who in is the this guy? This, somebody does he play online? Who the I hell need is an this APB. I, I need uh, Agent G. You know, we need to talk to this guy. <laughs> no matter what. Low pair. Okay, follow up. What's he gonna do here? All right, JDCR, he should be able to push towards the wall here. And that's a different combo than before. Not max damage, but just a small make you keep thinking. The longer that combo, the more time Naroma gets to think, I'm going to make it a shorter combo. I want you to think now. Ducks under all of it, down forward two, while rising two to punish. Excuse me. And you know what scares me the most? Just looking at my Twitter feed here, no one has still notified me who this Naroma guy is. Man. Does somebody know who Naroma is? Could somebody tell this, me? I'll tell you what it is. This is New Jack City, bro. <laughs> This is the new Jack in town. And my, my brother's keeper. Oh, nice. Wow, wow. Oh, he's keeping that pressure on. Uh, apparently, he's a very high-ranked Jack player, of course, in Japan. Yo. But still, we haven't seen this guy. And he's putting hands on JDCR with a perfect and a reset. A perfect and a reset on JDCR with Jack? Yeah. Uh-oh. Hey, what? Hey. Hey, y'all. Uh... Hey, y'all. That's a good song. <laughs> man, man, did not expect this. If I was a betting man, my money would be gone. But here we go. This is, of course, the final set of the tournament. Jesus, man. Look, you guys just got another lease on life. If you guys have been with us the entire time, prove it. I want to know topics of the day. What's the homework? Were you taking notes? <laughs> I, I want to know. Damn it, I want to know. Regardless. Honestly, regardless, thanks for hanging out. And amazingly, I uh, almost forgot. Shoutouts to Samsung. How could I forget? They got these sick monitors that these guys are playing on and these big-ass TVs that we're over here playing on as well. They were beautiful. Yeah, Samsung, a huge supporter here at the event in South Korea, part of the Tekken World Tour, and I'm very happy with the support that they provided us. Of course, we have all the viewing monitors, just the gaming monitors in general. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to get back into the match. And again, this is the final set, the final countdown. He's he, did, he, he made the switch. Countdown. He made it. Oh, he did it. Yo, the old man is out. You know he old. He got the grizzle, dude. The, the not fresh shaved grizzle. I thought that was the last we were going to see of Heihachi from earlier, but he is back, and this time it's personal. Oh, what's happening? What's going on? Oh, you better take the round, baby. No, I'm they're talking it. about something. They're going to reset it. Oh, man, I'm telling you right now, I was going to pull a Giuna in an instant. Yo, let me get that, bruh. Yo, reset it. Do it again, I dare you. you I was so emotionally vested into this match. 
Oh wow, he I think he is in, in his tournament mode or either he's taking it's it. It's tournament mode, there's no pause. Okay. Yeah. So they're gonna have to beat him up and they're gonna have to of course get ready to rematch. Das boots. Oh man. Oh, so according to what I'm seeing, I don't know if this is true, but Noroma is one of Taisei's training partners. Taisei, who got top eight at Evo. Yo, word? Word. Word is. Yo, thanks for the update. All right, here we go, guys. This is grand finals. Final set. It's going to be Noroma versus Echo Fox JDCR. And I believe we're going to get the match started. Has this ever happened before? Has what? JDCR ever, like, has someone done that? Beat JDCR twice in Tekken 7 yet? It's happened before. I mean, you got to remember, early on when FR first came out, JDCR didn't even make top eight at Evo. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So, but it's been a while since he's been, since hands have been put on him. Let's just say that. Oh, down 4-1-2. But he bought the old man out now. Oh, yeah. That's and, old strength right and there. And you know what he said. I mean, I hate to take it for face value, but depending on his condition, if he picks Heihachi, that's when you know it's yeah. real. It's serious. So, drawing first blood, getting that first round. Oh, nice punish there. Goes for the flash punch combo. Running hop. But Oof. Naroma, and you got, see the thing is, without the data, without the intel, you got to figure out, does Naroma know how to fight against him? What does he know? What does he not know in the matchup? What can JDCR get away with? Well, I'll tell you what he can get away with is movement. JDCR is the movement king. Yeah. Oh, wow. Catches him with a down four two, though. Power crush. Power crush. crush. Uh, oh, oh, side wall stun. Tsunami kicks on the punish. I like it. Down back to Wild Rising 1, and that's clean. He was ready. Naroma is going through the gauntlet, and probably the toughest gauntlet we've ever seen. Oh, down 4 1 2 again. Both of these players, and again, JDCR playing very compact here, looking for this opportunity. Down 4 1, able to hit confirm it. Wow, ducks under. Blocks Chance the here. Uh oh. oh. And again, uh, still tied uh, up on rounds. Uh, Anybody's match pushes him towards the wall here. Oh, 1-1-2. One, one, nice confirmed there by JDC. Again! Oh, and too early. Is he going to go right for Rage Art? No. He was backwards. There's the Rage Art. Has drop. another chance. Oh, oh, they traded blows. Down 4-1. 23 seconds left on the clock. Rage Drive of his own. We got oh, a out of range. Oh, jab. Oh, a down 4-1. Barely. Barely. Just out of range. So two rounds to one. JDCR looking to take the first match here in this final set. Oh, the hook. Small punish there. Didn't commit to it. Down Again. back two. And another punish he by Naroma. He has been blocking him. I'm waiting for the demon uppercuts to come out. How Damn. is JDCR going to mask it in the matchup, too? Yo, That's another question. Oh, no. He's not dead, but he's close. Is this Down a foreshadowing four. the tombstone? Final round. First game of the reset. Two rounds apiece. Down 4 1 2 from JDCR to start this off. Yep, JDCR. Oh no, he didn't hit confirm it. Oh, the low scissor again. And JDCR caught it. He got caught ducking there. He's going to have to be careful. There's the demon upcut. Oh, oh what a step. step. About even on life. This could be two. big. Shoulder. What's he going to do afterwards? Shoulder. Oh, oh, that's going to be it. He's not going to have enough life left. Back to Rage Drive. Can he stop? Damn. Yo, it's, man, it's the. That hurt. Damn, did you see the pop up by Hayashi? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> see the damage, and boy? And the stare down. And the look back. He popped the collar and looked back at the camera. That old man swagging. He's going to pick stage select. So we're going to go to another stage here. That was as close as you could have gotten. It came down to the last exchange. He was able to get the launch. And he I think got that the, the Rage Drive. I think that was the first 4 4 2 we've seen him do. Yeah. Whoa. Crazy. I and mean, we're going to go back into the match, but man, these guys are playing like madmen. JDCR taking the first game and there's that reset. A little different from what happened last time. Uh oh. G Corp helipad. Oh, Wonky with the info. So, according to Wonky, Naroma's from the Kyushu region. Same area where Gen, Taisei, Chikurin, and Tai Curry are from. He was Japan's first Tekken god with Jack in tag two. No way. So he is uh, obviously a high level player. I like E-Jack better. Mm. Anyways, pushing towards the wall. Let's see what happens. Down 4-1-2. Naroma getting a little anxious. Tries to hit a button in the middle. And now JDCR 
looking a lot sharper. Naroma on the ropes per se. Gets the down for one-two on the wall. Oh, he tried to respot there. I like what I was seeing there. But right now, in rage, he's going to have to be careful. Oh. Again with the low scissor. He's so good with that move. Oh, he went for the full charge. Unable to get it. And whip punish from JDCR. Oh, wow. And just an electric. Just to know. Just to send you home with something nice. 4-2. Uh, while standing four on the punish. Low parry again. He is looking for those bad boys. Uh, uh. He should be able to get the wall here. And the pressure, JDCR really putting it on right now. Oh, oh second hit though. Still gets the bound at the end of the combo. That that off axis wall throws a lot of people off. Uh oh. And the difference here, you know, we haven't seen JDCR really going for the down back two anymore. After getting launch punished so many times here. JDCR still has a life lead, ever so slight. Oh, he caught him. That rage. might be it, but he, he miscalculated. Oh, that could have been it. Down back one. All right. All right. Noroma still staying alive. One round apiece. Fight. And of course, the surprise of the tournament, Noroma, even though he's a very well known player, maybe in Japan, probably a more remote area in Japan with a lot of top players, but he is definitely putting hands on the international competition. Oh, nice wow. god fist. I like it. The wall messed up the combo. Still going to get a, a small amount of damage. Better than nothing, I say. Oh, nice duck, but unable to get anything out of it. Back oh. two. Caught him. The wall. No punish. JDCR wasn't sure about that down, that down back one. The lazy. Oh, what a god fist. Is he going to get the back two? Yes. The stomp. The other way. Jeez. Oh, oh the range. The longer arms. The longer arms. And Aroma now looking to tie it up here. Into the seat planner again. Double off. Oh, I knew again. it. Again. Do, Yo, is he the, oh, okay, four, big four, punish. Two. I like it. He I drops the drop. combo. <laughs> he just dropped the combo. That is unheard of, though. That's kind of weird. It is kind of weird. But anyways, about even on life. Aroma, of course, with the round advantage here. Oh, oh, here we go. Dashes in. He wants to keep that corner position in his favor. Oh, he goes for it again. He almost had the wall there, too. Oh. Good block. No, no punish here. What's he going to go oh, for? Oh, honey, that's going to be enough. Now. Is the wall going to hit? Yes. Oh, the demon breath. breath. The breath of the demon. Rachel Ghoul was here himself. <laughs> that was great stuff. What a clutch moment there from JDCR. Final round again. Uh, yeah, and the thing is, if JDCR takes this, he's going to be up 2-0, and you do not want to be in that position if you're Naroma. But you, Naroma is going in right now. Look at the damage he just put on the table. Oh, my gosh, the delay. He is playing out of his mind. Oh, That's it. Oh, my God. And it's tied up. What Battle of the gods. JDCR, step aside. I'm the new model. Oh. But he's going to have to win this if he wants the bragging rights. I just got a cold shiver down my spine. That was crazy. Yeah, that was uh, that was crazy. <laughs> so it's now 1-1. We're switching stage. Jesus, man. Again, if you guys are tuning in right now, you are watching Grand Finals here from our Tekken World Tournament event here in South Korea. Two players, one from Japan, one from Korea, battling out to see who is going to be our champion today. Man. I don't know what I would bank on right now, man. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even bet right now. I would not even bet. I mean, I know what I would do. If somebody asked me, yeah. However, I would not bet that. I wouldn't bet that at all. Yeah, we're in the... 2-1. Oh, electric. I don't know what he did, but he got hit for it. And another drop by JDCR. Now pushing towards the wall here. Side wall stun. Low what parry. a low parry. And not just that, he has the wall. Double health sweep gets punished. And somehow or another, Naroma gets out of the corner just to take that round. round two. All right, Fight. round number one to no Naroma. Oh, gets the god fist. He's going to push towards the wall here. Just short of it, gets punished again. Wow, that's really crazy. Seems like he's not sure in some of the ranges that he's going for in these combos. And there's a punish. Right now, JDCR is looking a little flustered. This is a big match. I mean, whoever goes into the lead and has one match left to give, that's going to be nuts. And right now, two rounds is looking like the Roma. 
in this third game of the reset. Things are looking grim for our uh, our current leading champion and points leader on our Tekken World Tour. Oh, and gets him right out of the 4-4-2. Caught him in the tombstone. D-Bug hits on the ground. Okay, down 4-1-2. Gets in the range this time. Does a little better. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. And you see Naroma tightening up that offense. Down 4-4 four, four from JDCR. Back one. He is working this lead right now. He is looking to run away with it. Look, he's not coming forward anymore either. And this is what I like to see. I mean, we thought we ended on a high note. We had the biggest second tournament in the world. But this guy comes in and says, not today, JDCR. Oh, wow. The delay. The good punish. What's yes. he going to go for? Oh, again, another debug. He is feeling confident. Well, that I'm is guaranteed at the wall. It's it's similar to p debugger at the wall in tag two, where he can do while standing forward to the shoulder. But, man, what an optimal time to actually land it and show it off to the crowd. See, now one, that's why I think, I feel like if JDCR had stuck with Dragon off, it would be a little different right now. I it might have, I mean, but he made the hard choice, and he picked his character here, and I believe... I think we're going back to characters right yeah. now. What's he going to do here? I mean, dude, JDCR can use a ton of characters. We know this. But does he have what it takes? Oh, he's going to... Oh, no. Really? No way. No way. He has a Steve. He has a Brian. He has every... What's he going to do? This is it, because he's going to be locked in. He's going to have to stick that the character. And again, it's 2-1 right now in favor of Naroma. You know what's crazy? You know what would be sick if they left the timer on in tournament mode when they pick their character. You got to make oh, them clutch it yeah. out. Got to make them clutch it out. That'd be sick. <laughs> That's actually godlike. If they left the time, even, oh, God, that would be so good. All right, here we go. This is actually 2-1 in favor of Naroma right now. JDCR, the underdog right now. Yeah, and you know what? JDCR is locked in. If he wants to win the tournament, he's going to have to win the tournament with Dragonov. And we're going to the Dragon's Nest. This room is quiet as hell. You can only hear the announcer on the mic. I mean, this is kind of unheard of. I mean, a Japanese player has never gone to Korea and won a major tournament like this. So we're going to see. And Naroma starting off dashing in. Ooh, here we go. This would be history for the Japanese Tekken community. Oh, bar fight. Uh, uh. Stabs him into the ground. The follow-up, what's he going to go for? while standing four again. I've seen him do that so many times. Get up, delay while standing four. Nice, Get goes for the grab while standing one. Nice punish. Oh, oh, and the tackle this time reverses it. Oh, wow. Splits his head open. Crawls away, I like what I'm seeing here. They're about even on life. Somebody's gonna have to take it. Oh my God, no whiff punishing from JDCR. I feel like this match, could, this round could have been over two times now. Oh, no punish. no punish! What are we seeing here? Is he is he falling apart? Down four. Ten seconds left. Oh, the debug. Is that going to be enough? Wow! The slow motion, the death oh, oh, my goodness! Did you see that JDCR? Steve just ripped off his headset. What? Oh, God. This must yeah, pick up. Oh, my goodness. Gets him at the wall. What an ending to that first round. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, I'm at full attention now. All right. You got me. I'm, I'm in. I can't I believe he went for that neutral hop kick, the delay. And no break on the normal throw. Oh, here we go. He's going to close it out. Uh oh, Naroma looking like he's a little bit flustered himself now. That last series is, is very questionable. So. JDCR is fighting hard right now. The switch to drag it off, paying off. Is he going to put it to our final match of the tournament? Sidestep, realign, double wall combo. One of the things about Dragonoff. Oh, man. The momentum, the perfect. One of the things about Dragonoff, and if you don't understand that he has strings that you can't jab in between. There are some strings that you have yeah. to challenge. But the thing is, sometimes they delay it on purpose yes. to give that gap, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to give the illusion that you can do it. Oh, we're going to stage select. This is going to be it. It's going to be Jack. Oh, my God. It's the last match. First I wasn't even <laughs> it's the final <laughs> countdown. All right, guys. This is it. Grand finals, final match. Geometric plane. Oh, wow. Just imagine if we were on my PlayStation and an unknown <laughs> song was playing. I'm just saying, man. Something to think about. That music adds tempo. It adds excitement. Anyways, this is the final match, ladies and gentlemen. Oh.
Tekken World Tour. Damn it. You can't even ask for this kind of shit. This is good ass Tekken. Good ass Tekken. Just like mom used to make Tekken. I back will at home. agree. So, Naroma <laughs> from Japan, Echo Fox, JDCR from Korea. One of these two players will be our champion here at the South Korean Tekken World Tour qualifier. Who's going to take it? Both these players poking away. Oh. Wow, JDCR playing super aggressive here. I'm telling you, dude, when I saw him play. Oh, he tried to catch him. Tried to sit on him. That's gross, dude. I know. Especially in the geometric space. You don't want to do that. Anyways. Oh, he went for the big uppercut there. He's been setting up that up the entire time. Hits the hook. What's he going to do this time? JD. Oh, oh is that going to hit? No, oh, he blocked it. What was the no he faked it. He dashed in and did nothing. You know what it is? It's that goddamn noise that machines make. It was like, <laughs> I was like, yo, he did something. What, what was, was that noise? What was that noise? <laughs> that's what machines, that's the noise that they make. Get off. The rise of the machines, the inherent advantage of the sound. Gets the hook. Nice punish. Oh, this back gets 12. Stomp. What's he going to do? And this is insane to see JDCR with his back to the wall here. The advantage with Noroma right now, looking to win the tournament. But JDCR, of course, you can never count him out. Heart of a champion. And a break on the throw. JDCR has the life lead. He needs this round if he wants to tie. Ah, no. Wow, what a whiff there. And a, what a whiff punish from Naroma. He's going to put on the damage here. What's he going to go for? Toe kick. <laughs> Debug. Not close enough for the combo. Oh. oh. And the trade blows. And one round Set away. point for Naroma. Tournament point. I'm going to throw something, Steve. Before I nice. fight. Unhand me. I'm a machine. Into the tombstone. And is it true? Is this the new robot, the new model, the new machine? Don't Whoa! Counter. Don't ever try that you again. Son of a bitch. Even if you are a robot without bones. Oh, what a sidestep and what a punish here. JDCR should be able to close it out. And he stays alive. Two rounds to one. JDCR fighting back. He can't lose a round. This is it. Naroma is on set point. Back one. Put the brakes on. There's the elbow drop into the running two. Again, going for the throw. And you know Naroma has to be aware of this. Oh, he caught him. That could have been counter it too. Oh, well, oh he was out of range. It. That's why he's using it. Oh, wow. This is looking Mighty tasty. <laughs> no pun intended. Oh, the back two. This is big. Naroma might be able to take it here. Oh. The pressure. He has him in range. One more hit can do it. Oh, my God. Oh, he got him with oh the big hit. Oh, my God. There's no way. Yo, JDCR. Are you a god? Only a real master. Oh, the big debugger, and that's going to be it. Noroma is our champion here in Korea, winning it for Japan. Oh, can you believe that? He's doing the jack win pose. What a set. Damn, dude. He doesn't believe in himself. Damn, dude. You're right. I saw you take a lap just now. I had to. I had to, man. Like, if he would have won that, I, I, I'm telling you, I would have had to tag into you now. I, 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 I got to tag I, into I, you I now. Like I think you guys are gonna talk to the winner after this, but uh, we got to get ready, ready for our award ceremony. But man, thank you everyone for tuning in. It's been a total pleasure. Uh, I, you could explain the replay to them. I don't want to see that again. But again, thanks everyone for supporting Tekken. We love you guys. We'll see you at the next Tekken World Tour event. Steve, it's been a pleasure. Yo, you already know. I'll yeah. see you soon. Woo. All right, God let's get let's get Juno over here.